بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين As you remember, we were talking about stages and levels of uh, wayfarer in his or her journey to God. The first step that we're going to uh, explain more is the step of repentance and purification. First of all, through Islamic narrations, we want to know uh, how can we repent. This is from Imam Ali alayhi salam that explained the real repentance and what should we do in order to repent. First of all, as we find out in this Islamic narration, أَنَّدَمُ عَلَى مَا مَضَى To have remorse for the past. It means for what he or she has done. Sins, wrongdoings, whatever. وَالثَّانِي الْعَزْمْ عَلَى تَرْكِ الْعَوْدِ إِلَيْهِ أَبَدًا to decide not to return to it forever, evermore. It means uh, have strong decision in order to avoid committing sin, sin anymore. والثالث أن تؤدي إلى المخلوقين حقوقهم To compensate the rights of people. So before the rights of God himself, he says about the rights of people, because that's more important. God probably would forgive us for what we have done, but uh, as we find in our Islamic narrations, we should satisfy people, whether in this world or the hereafter. That is something difficult, especially in the hereafter. So this is the third step. The fourth one. أن تعمد إلى كل فريضة عليك ضيعتها فتؤدي حقها. To consummate the the religious obligations. It means. Uh, the previous one was the rights of people. The fourth one is uh, those duties, religious responsibilities and duties that we have, whether uh, prayer, fasting, anything that we uh, out to do, but uh, we didn't do, or something uh, sin, such as sins or wrongdoing that we have done, we should repent and ask God for forgiveness. Uh, the fifth one, And to replace to replace the meat that has been grown from haram with a new one. So even the meat that is in our body, which has been grown from haram, unlawful uh, money, unlawful act, it should be replaced with a new one, with a new one which it has been grown by halal property, halal food, halal money. And the last one, and to dhiq al-jism alam al-ta'a kama adaqtahu halawat al-ma'asiyah. 
to replace sweetness of sin with the pain of servitude. So, uh, about the last one, I want to add something. This is just at the beginning. At the beginning, when, when still we are in the atmosphere of sin and wrongdoing, still we think that uh, we enjoy those sins and wrongdoing and uh, worshiping God, being good servant of God is bitter. But this is just, just at the beginning. Later, uh, when we start entering this new realm, we're going to understand and realize the sweetness of worshiping God. Exactly vice versa. Anyway, this is just about the, the beginning. So previously, we enjoyed committing sins uh, for the same reason we should taste bitterness of, uh, as we have here, servitude in order to uh, pass the last stage of repentance. Okay, after we understand how to repent, we want to know uh, when would be late for re repentance. Yes, normally we have time. During this life we have time to repent. But uh, it is not forever. There is a limitation. Limitation of the time and opportunity of repentance is till the time of death or till the time of punishment of God. At that specific time, there is no longer opportunity for repentance. We have in this uh, verse of the Holy Quran, إنما التوبة على الله للذين يعملون السوء بجهالة ثم يتوبون من قريب فأولئك يتوب الله عليهم وكان الله عليما حكيما. First of all, it says يعملون السوء بجهالة when they are ignorant about those sins and wrongdoings, not with knowledge. When we are knowledgeable, we are not instance of this verse. It is very difficult. This is about the first verse. The second verse, وَلَيْسَتِ التَّوْبَةُ لِلَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ السَّيَّعَاتِ حَتَّى إِذَا حَضَرَ أَحَدَهُمُ الْمَوْتِ قَالَ إِنِّي تُبْتُ الْآنِ وَلَلَّذِينَ يَمُوتُونَ وَهُمْ كُفَّارٌ أُولَئِكَ أَعْتَدْنَا لَهُمْ عَذَابًا أَلِيمًا But repentance is not for those who go and committing uh, misdeeds when death approaches any of them. He says, I repent now. Nor is it for those who die while they are faithless. So in these two cases. And in the story of Pharaoh, al Fir'aun, uh, you know, uh, at the time of his death, he said, uh, I believe in God. In the Holy Quran, we have al on now. It is not beneficial. It's late. And we have in Islamic narrations that uh, it was because حين الباس حين أذاب الله التوبة ليست مفيدة ليست مؤثرة. Uh, when the punishment of God comes, no longer repentance would be accepted. Right now, after having some appropriate image about repentance, we want to talk more about purification. First of all, uh, we want to know importance of purification.